chapter 30, final chapter, Blue Collar Leadership and Supervision. And chapter 30 is uh, the ultimate question. Subtitle is the question. Will you be an informer or a transformer? It's a pretty thought-provoking question. See, low-impact leaders inform their team. High-impact leaders transform their team. They're on two completely different levels. Unfortunately, most blue-collar workers work for informers, low-impact leaders, not for transformers, high-impact leaders. Uh, most of the time, their leaders just done, done, they are people who did a great job on the front lines and then they got promoted up one or two levels but they've never had any training, never had any development. Uh, a lot of times in the blue collar workforce, none of the leaders have had any formal authority training and development uh, up the chain, professional development, like I'm sharing with you. So that's your question. As you move forward, will you be an informer or a transformer? And I'm gonna tell you this, unless you transform yourself or have transformed yourself at some point in your life, you will never be a transformational leader. I don't care if you're the CEO of a billion dollar company. If you have not transformed yourself, you cannot be a transformational leader. That's a very, very, very high level of high impact leadership, transformational leaders. And that's why I tell people, the best leaders do not have to have led, they, they, have, they don't necessarily have to have led a large company. And I think about Rhea. If you know Rhea and her story, she's led herself at a level most people will never come close to leading themselves at. That's what you have to be to be a transformational leader. You have to lead yourself at a level that most people will never, never achieve. I'm not talking about results and success and positions and titles. I'm talking about leading yourself well. That's what makes a transformational leader. Hope you've enjoyed this series. I'll see you next time.